I am from Akron, Ohio, born in the Tyre City. And I had been to Roanoke in 1976 when I graduated from undergraduate school. I had my first professional theater job on top of Mill Mountain at the old Mill Mountain Playhouse in the Rockledge Inn. And it was, um, it was sort of paradise. Uh, the company was young and enthusiastic. Everybody was sort of launching their careers. And I fell in love with Roanoke and decided that if ever there was a chance to um, settle here, I would grab it. Because not only is it absolutely gorgeous um, geographically, but the people are so um, welcoming and the atmosphere of the community is so, um, so striking to me. So when it came time after grad school, after a long spell in Chicago in, a, in a, an exciting, vital, but big city, um, I was really pleased to have the opportunity to, to settle down here. And then I worked at Mill Mountain for about eight years um, as the Associate Artistic Director and then um, launched this uh, piece of theater based on Robert Fulgham's All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. It took me away from Roanoke for about seven or eight years, um, traveling around the world. Then I ended up back in Roanoke as the chairman of the theater department at Hollins, just when it was time to stay in one place again for a while. I feel like the arts community in Roanoke is, is my family. And the chemistry, I guess, of the people who have come together is pretty rich. Um, and what I love, which you don't find in other cities, is that all the disciplines interact. So I have very close friends who are painters and sculptors and composers um, who are not working with me in my own discipline, but who are stimulating me and are my friends because we scratch through the surface together and, and try to dig deeper into what it is we're trying to say through the arts. So it's the kind of community that truly can, can be connected through the arts. It's small enough, there is a buzz that can go through our community um, that can be generated and stimulated by exciting artistic ventures. Uh, when I first came to Mill Mountain as Associate Artistic Director here in Center in the Square, I, um, I, was, I was pretty young and, and philosophical and excited about everything theater, and I believed that this building and the theater at the center of town on Market Square, which clearly was the heartbeat of Roanoke, um, was the ideal in having a, a sort of an arts um, mecca, the, the kind of the jewel at the, in the center of the crown, where the community could come together, experience something that um, was aesthetic and um, really stimulating. Um, people could laugh, cry, and ponder together um, through, some, through an artistic event, and it would permeate the community. And that doesn't happen in Chicago and in New York, um, where theater is vital, but it's not part of the community in the way that it can be here. And the arts in general, I think, in a city like Roanoke, um, are absolutely the life stream of the community. Um, and partly because we are, um, we are friendly <laughs> in Roanoke and we do reach out to one another and um, our community means a lot to us and neighbors mean a lot to us and sharing ideas and smiles and um, thoughts mean a lot to us. So I think, um, I think the arts are a large reason why Roanoke is um, as galvanized a community as it is.